You're welcome to try it. I forgive you if you spit it out. <laughs> Mate, that is the furthest thing away from cheese right now. <laughs> You've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. This is a vegan cheese board. What do you think is a good test of a good cheese? Obviously, melting it, cheese on toast. Mainstream food producers are reportedly spending millions of pounds to develop a decent faux fromage. Look, so it wants to melt, but it's like it's holding back. But how on earth can you make something made of plants melt? In Brighton, there is a vegan cheese that has set the internet alight. Kate's heading off to meet Tim Barkley, co-founder of vegan pizzeria Pereza. Hi, Tim. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? Great. Now, Tim, I'm hoping that you're going to be my vegan cheese hero. No one wants to show me how they make it. Well, I'll tell you what, Kate, it's really hard to do. That's probably why they don't want to tell you how it's made. I think I need to see how you make it. Where do we start? We start from the rice. So we ferment this for about eight hours and leave it 24 hours in total. It makes it really creamy, brings out the sweetness in it. And after those 24 hours, we have the rice milk. So, Tim, you've got your milk. Yeah. How do you turn this into cheese? Now we start to cook it. Yeah, right, we're going to make some vegan cheese. Let's do we're it. We're going to make some. Unlike in traditional cheese making, which combines three essential ingredients, milk, rennet and salt, vegan cheese is far more complicated and uses a variety of different ingredients and techniques to turn the basic plant products into something that resembles dairy cheese. Right, so we've got our milk. What next? Yeah. Next, we add in the fats, which is the coconut oil. Now, this is definitely an ingredient that doesn't go into normal cheese. It doesn't go into normal cheese, but it is in pretty much every other vegan cheese out there. Because it gives the proteins and the fats, and it also helps with the meltability of the cheese as well. Is it mostly about texture? It's a lot about the texture, holding it together. Now, we add the starch, which adds the stretchability to the cheese. So if you didn't add that in, it would just be one big pool of cheese. You want that All kind of string that you get it, with yeah. a mozzarella on a pizza. Exactly. And this gives you that? That gives you that, a small jug of tapioca. Jeez, doesn't really look no, like cheese make just yet. Yeah. Anything like cheese now, no. Wait and see. I've got lots of lumps. I mean, that's it. Can I try it now? <laughs> You're welcome to try it. I forgive you if you spit it out. <laughs> Mate. That is the furthest thing away from cheese right now. <laughs> You've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. What have we got to do to make that weird, tasteless mixture into a cheese? What we haven't got is the casein or the rennet. So those are things that we need to add in there. So you've got a vegan replacement. Exactly. In our secret ingredients. But, mate, come on. Let me have a little... You can't peek in there, sorry. The ingredients are so closely guarded, even the chefs who prepare the cheese don't know what they are. Tim, can I turn around yet? You can turn back now, yeah. Sorry. Please forgive me. It's a long process now to turn this into the final mix. So we've got one here that we've just made. And you can see it's starting to look a little bit more cheesy now. Oh, OK. Wow, that's totally changed. Look at that. But what happens next? That doesn't look much like mozzarella right now. We're almost there. We leave it overnight to set, and then we get our finished product. That is your vegan cheese. That's it. I think I've got to see this cheese on a pizza, Tim. Let's do it. Time for a taste test. Look at that already. OK, we've got a bit of that stringy cheese thing happening. That is a very impressive vegan cheese. You're Italian, Filippo. Yes, I'm Italian. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I can think only that I'm really happy. The flavour is amazing, in my opinion. What do you think your mama would say? My mother, say, she doesn't gonna realize. No, I, I, I wouldn't say anything. So it seems things are moving on if we can now create a mozzarella that even Italian mamas will love. That's gouda be a good thing. Man, these puns are cheesy.